Okay, uh, I have never played Unreal World before. I know nothing about it. I guess it says roguelike here on the Steam landing page for it. Um, I don't know if the audio is going to be out of whack, so you can help me out here if it's too loud or too quiet. Uh, I also have a guide from Game Saucer. She was kind to send me some notes for starting a new character. I haven't looked at them yet because I'd like to kind of see what the game is. But once we start character creation, I'll review it. It's got added to my voting spreadsheet like four, three or four years ago. And so if we talked about it at the time about what kind of game it was, I forgot all of that. First winter. Made fire, made the bow and the arrow and the hunted. Oh, is this game 480p? It'll probably be easier to read if I can get it full screen. Let me try that real quick. Hold on. Oh yeah, that should be better for y'all. The world was no longer real. The world was unreal. They said the thing. Okay, oh, this is like a... almost single developer. Gotcha. Uh, let's look at the setup options here. Audio, yes. Background music looks okay. Everything looks okay in the equalizer right now. Traditional movement. If heading-based movement feels tricky, you can switch to traditional roguelike movement. Okay, so when we say roguelike, we mean like, not light, I think. And our homestead. Alright, I don't know what any of this means yet, so I should probably come back to look at it once we've actually started the game. Create a character. Already, I probably need to look at Game Saucer's notes. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do custom easy and too easy and see what happens. Choose a culture. Oh, that's kind of cool. Those who live in the combo. So I did boot this up to get the video to work, and when you quit out, it has a really nice message about supporting indigenous cultures and saying that only after everything in the world has been exhausted will people realize that you can't eat money. Uh, so I can kind of already see the values on display here. Southwest coastal area. Okay, so I can hit F1. Does that do that in-game? It does. This is very, like, um, reminds me of Oregon Trail. Villages near lakes or rivers. Prosperous villages. What's the uh, original like release? When did it first get chopped around? I just get that from how long to beat. I can update it if it's supposed to be older than that. Fishing and hunting. Farmers. Diver is a totem animal. All right, so this is kind of cool that I got all these culture selections. Let me read Game Saucer's notes here. Culture is like your class. Certain cultures are geared to certain situations. Best to start out with our owl tribe or the Kalmo. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick owl tribe because it's a word that I can understand. Travel like echoes in the forests. Live mainly on nomadic reindeer rearing. Travel twice a year. Okay, cool. Let's do Owl Tribe then. Uh, we're gonna get to season, I guess, eventually. That'll just be me this time. Yeah, that's totally me. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay. That guy. Uh, season. Start out in the summer. It's the easiest season to survive in without resources. Thank you. I feel like this must be the kind of game that's like uh, Game Saucer referenced uh, Dwarf Fortress, which I clearly didn't remember based on the previous conversation. She was very kind and linked me to our original conversation from when she added it to the spreadsheet where we're talking about like, so what's the how long to beat for a game that is like Dwarf Fortress and is unbeatable? I'm like, oh, let's just pick an arbitrary amount of hours to play it like we did for Dwarf Fortress. So maybe I should be a little bit more scared but I'll go ahead and read these without feeling too bad about it. Um, 
If it's like Dwarf Fortress, then I need heavy guidance. If you're in chat and are familiar with this game, please uh, tell me everything. I'll almost totally suspend my backseating policy. 92. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, rolling stats. Cultural background, sort of section not completed. You're going to focus like this. Are you happy with these attributes? Okay, I see. Those look pretty high, actually, other than strength sucking. Am I reading that right? Like a full bar is is good? So I suck at strength and I'm okay at eyesight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, decently high intelligence and will. Full bar is good, okay. I think I might just take the stats they gave me at the beginning. I those look pretty good. I'm okay with being a weakling. Maybe this is meant to teach me that to survive in the unreal world, you better not be a weakling. Uh, spells and magic means. Spirits. Those should be respected and not performed without reason. Okay. Start with these spells and magic means to interact with, communicate with the spirits in the other world. Learn more during your life. So there's general sacrifice, bear skull right. Your bear is brought down, its skull eventually needs to be placed to hang a big lone pine tree. Probably want to go for general sacrifice, I guess. Hey, sir, how you doing? The full traps for berry, you should set the me meat bait. Bear hunter's mitten shouldn't be made of whatever material. Oh, I have all of these to begin with, so I have access to general sacrifice, bear skull right, the ability to trap bears, and bear hunting mittens. Is this because of the um, culture that I selected? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna be fine. It's fine. I, I will be fine. Uh, good skills to invest in are fishing, physician, at least one weapon skill, cookery, hide working, trapping, and timber crafts. Okay, I see. So, you said fishing first, which makes me think fishing must be pretty important. Plus, Okay, I have to do it with a keyboard, gotcha. I apparently accidentally did herb lore there, right? I'm gonna do fishing. There it goes, okay. I like herb lore though. Fishing, physician. Do I have to like click something to get out of this after selecting it? Oh dear. Position. Skilled, uh, one weapon skill. It doesn't really matter which one I pick. I guess I can probably pick the one that I already am the highest in by default. Worried about bows since they presumably require ammunition. Oh, really? Okay. Well, good. I don't like using the mouse anyway. I can use the arrow keys. Um. Cookery, hide working, trapping, and timber crafts. So cookery. This is just for the start. I might mess around with this more in the future when I feel like I have a better handle on shit. Trapping starts out pretty abysmal. Is that derived from strength, maybe? Okay, gotcha. Amateur. Depending on stats and culture. Okay. 
Well, to that end, I might, um... I picked four that Game Saucer recommended. I might pick a random one now, or one from that just looks interesting to me so I can see why it's bad. Uh... Skiing. Right on. Weather lore, you say? Actually, like herb lore. Let me get my Ranar weeds. Alright. Yes, I'm happy with this. So this has been developed for about as long, if not longer, than Dwarf Fortress. Get used to, let me see, do I have to turn this off to use the numpad? Okay, I do. That's helpful. So, uh, starting locations, start near a cultural region. You can show them by pressing C. Okay. So do I want to specifically start near a cultural region of my own tribe? I think some places definitely not to start in. Okay. Oh, and I can randomize the starting location, which is the red square here. I see. Best place to start the Dreek, which are the light blue one in the southwest corner, or the Rimi, which are the like puke green one. And when I guess I don't have a sense of how long it takes to travel around here. When we say start close to one of those locations, we mean like on top of it. Probably got a couple there that were close enough. I'm just trying to see how this works. Like, is that already too far? Was kind of my question. Puts me right in it. Don't have to be exactly on top, but don't be too far out. Okay. That looks good. That's like right next to the Dreek. And also next to the Koivula. Okay. Uh, that seems fine. Enter and play. Is this the same thing where time only progresses when I take an action? Select the startup scenario. Okay. Best one to start with is I want to be a fisherman. Other useful ones include abandoned camp and the village. I will trust you on a fisherman. Sense of fishing equipment, you start to follow your path as a fisherman. Okay. Childhood, you used to go fishing with your uncle. Learn to respect the guardian spirits of the water. You're fascinated when you sacrifice some fish to them after a good catch. Dream of becoming a great fisherman. God, I'm gonna be in a um, old man in the sea situation here. Caught in the storm, your punt capsized. Out of the water, you swam to shore, but your uncle was mad. Put it on you. you. Should never fish again. Guardian spirits of the water don't like him. Snuck into the fishing shed, took all the equipment you could carry. No enough to make my living by fishing alone, you mumbled as you left your home for good. Yeah, sounds great. Alright, and now finally, course is the last one. Uh, these are milestones. They teach the game, they give you something to do, and they provide rewards. Living in the wild is the best one to start with if you're new to the game, so pick that one. Okay. So let me just reveal what they or review what they are. Unreal World is your free game mode, basically. Okay. You have no tasks or duties. He's not here, so I can do it for her. <laughs> Duty. Except the ones you decide to do or try out for yourself. The ultimate way of gaming for experienced, freedom-desiring players. That's not me. Put me on the track. <laughs> I hate freedom. Marstead, 2022. Um, task to teach you the basics of wilderness survival and to test your survival skills as you roam across the land. 
This game course starts with easy and fundamental wilderness survival tasks and gets accustomed to living in the wild, bringing you among people in ways of more settled life. Okay, that sounds great. Our set of the Owl Tribe is about to enter Unreal World. The world will surely teach one, if nothing else, to walk slowly. Finnish proverb. Several different runes and myths about the origin of the world and how it became unreal. In the beginning, the world was barren, silent, the wind, the forest, and all the animals were formed out of the song of Sky Father and Earth Mother. Okay, let's talk about the first winter again. First timer info. You're about to enter Unreal World for the first time. When the game starts, press escape to view keyboard commands and help. Okay. Game encyclopedia can be started anytime by pressing F1. Appreciate that they have that. Exploring and browsing the encyclopedia may stimulate your imagination. Okay, sounds cool. Read this already, I want to be a fisherman. Water is essential. Okay, so this is unlike uh, Dwarf Fortress, which is like completely throwing you in the deep end, this is actually going to make some attempt to tutorialize me a little bit because I picked this course, I suppose. Explore your surroundings until you find a source of fresh water, like a lake or a pond. Take a gulp of water. Start out with new strength. In the winter, it won't be so easy. You have to use your fishing skill to make a hole in the ice. Uh, okay. So Q is quaff or drink something. L and F3 are look. Several ways to accomplish each task. Uh, to find a proper place or get specific equipment where it's possible to accomplish the task. Use your creativity. I'm in trouble. <laughs> All right, so this is basically letting me review a set of things I can do. I'm trying to use keyword shortcuts here. F5 brings this screen up. Okay. Um, I need to start future Marsted notes right now. So I'm going to pull up a text file. I'm mostly going to work on keybinds at the moment. Uh, Unreal World. For the next episode, whenever we play this next, so first of all, review game saucers tutorial info, broadly helpful. Okay, uh, F five bring up task list. You quaff drink, L look. Okay. No, oh, I kind of like the graphics. Oh, I see. So yeah, it is times only moving when I say to do something, basically. Well, your surroundings that you find a source of water like a lake or a pond. Okay. Now, does the actual gameplay not have any music for the most part? Because if that's true, I'll um I'll put something on in the background just so we have something. Look. A direction where you can see. Oh, okay, so the look command is just clarifying what that tile is, basically. All right, let me, uh, I'll put on Jaden's soundtrack at a low volume here. Just give me a sec to set it up. You might hear rendering completed in like an hour. Um, so, so looking doesn't consume time, I assume. It's just like if I want to know what a tile I'm looking at is classified as, that's how I would do that, basically. Let's see. It's interesting that my, my facing actually matters. Okay, so the little arrow above my character is the direction that I'm facing. I think I saw some wood there. And I have better vision when I'm in a clearing? That's kind of cool. You're feeling rather warm. Just confirming. 
water. It's not a lot of water, but it's a little water. It's deep water, you have to swim or go by watercraft. Let's review this. Uh, so let's try just quaff, I guess. Drink from the natural source. You have died of dysentery. Oh no, the music cut out. Uh, I'll put it on a different thing here. One second, sorry. Uh, I use a tool called Acoustic Bridge to be able to pick up audio from other devices, basically. Sometimes it shits the bed, sadly. So I'll just play it on my stream PC. Press the space bar to zoom in on the local map. It said I can check text, I can check the commands somehow, right? Keyboard commands. Strafe with control. Okay, and I am supposed to use the num key for this. Let me set that. Num key for movements. The game will actually introduce me to those keys. Okay. I'm actually kind of impressed at this game's desire to get me on board with how to play it. Drink from the natural source, yes. Complete! You can stay alive without food for weeks, but unless you have water, you will die of dehydration in days. Uh, sure. Congratulations, you have accomplished this task. Can, uh, can we get, like... Dwarf Fortress to put something like this into their game. <laughs> Alright, you can zoom in and out between the large scale wilderness map and a smaller scale local terrain map. Zoom into a local map to explore the area you're in more closely. The zoomed in map reflects the wilderness location accurately. There's a lake to the north on the wilderness map, which there is. You can find it by traveling north in the zoomed in map. Enter to zoom in. Okay. Enter to zoom in. Out. X to look in a direction. Colon, look at current location. <laughs> well, Elmo. Well, I think it's like there's this kind of understanding that everybody seems to have that, like, because Dwarf Fortress is insanely complicated, that means that it doesn't need to make any effort to, to onboard you. Well, that's kind of cool. On a zoomed in local terrain map. Take some time to explore. Since travels performed on the wilderness map, encountering animals or people, this little daily life, fishing, trapping, and gathering berries and such, takes place on the zoomed in map. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm impressed. That's really cool. Uh, picking up. On zoomed in maps, you can find items such as branches, trees, stones. Depending on the season and the terrain type, you may also find natural food like mushrooms and berries. All this is picked up the same way. Try and pick up something you find nearby on the ground. See what you're already carrying, check your inventory. Okay. So, G, just pick up stuff. G, pick up from adjacent tile. I equals inventory. Yeah, I know, it's nice though to not be completely thrown into the pond. Um. Knife, hand axe, club, spear, footwear, metal trousers, linen undershirt, woolen shirt, fur hood. Oh, really? Long short blade. So, is my starting equipment also randomized? Here, your rope. I'm going to die and lose this character, so. <laughs> Somewhat decent statistics. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. I don't know what I pressed to trigger that. Just reviewing my stats. Okay, I see. Stats of my equipment. There's the pond, and I can also presumably pick something up here. Oh, okay. Now I understand the the heading thing. So this is strange. Um, I've got the the numpad right, and I can press uh, seven. I would think seven would just make me move up and to the left, but no, it makes my character turn. 
in that direction. I'm going to go ahead and put on the normal uh, roguelike controls. That's, that's neat that they have that. I'm glad I started with it. Okay, that makes more sense. I suppose maybe the heading is good because it lets you turn without actually moving, which I otherwise can't do. Is that right? G to pick up. Oh, I have to be on the thing to pick it up. Pick up a branch. Carrying heavy loads slows down physical skill use and makes movement in combat more difficult. In the wilderness, learn how to make a fire. Next task. Find and pick up several branches. Drop them where you wish to build a fire. Use your timbercraft skill. Which I had was terrible, I didn't put enough points in that. Set fire to a dry fallen tree. Finland simmer simulator. Fire you can use push items command. Build a fire to light up the firewood. D is drop. E is push. S is skills. F is build fire. So I can try to find branches. I'm just going to start with that. It's an interesting thing to go so hard simulationist on early on, like surviving in the wilderness, right? Pick up a random rock, why not? Sounds like I can also is so timbercraft is to get branches and stuff out of trees, if I read that right. Is your timbercraft skill to cut branches from a tree. How do I improve my skills? Is it just through use? View and use your skills. Untrained. Using Timbercraft. Bell a tree, chop tree into blocks, split firewood from a block. Okay. Cut branches from a tree. You need a cutting weapon or by hand. You have all the necessary equipment, okay. Oh, interesting. Knife is the right tool here, but suffers from rough quality. Cut the branches, they're lying beside you on the ground. Okay, so we pick them up. All of them up. Got it. Okay. So then we look at this again. It's very slow. So we have to drop them where you want to build your fire. Do we care about where we're building a fire? It doesn't want to be around trees as opposed to in like an open area. Five growing milkweeds will be ripe after a month. Okay. So we go item and then we can go to the next page with page down. Those are, those are my trony branches. I can press D to drop them. Enter to select. Okay, so I have to press D on here. Now I can select it to drop it, right? Uh, all, I guess. Space, okay. So then, uh, which items command? Use the build a fire command, which is F. Uh, but I have to build the fire on the tile, right? See, that's where heading really matters then, huh? Not succeed in making a fire. You managed to make a fire. Fire keeps you warm during cold weather. Burn as long as it has enough fuel. Need the burning fire, you need to occasionally move some wood or some burnable item into the fire. Okay. Hey, Yahan, how you doing? Need to fish and hunt for your livelihood. Learn to cook what you catch or kill. Use your cookery skill to prepare some food. The most simple recipe is just roast raw fish or meat over the campfire. Well, food is being cooked, and if you don't have anything else to do, you can use the wait or rest commands to kill time. Your nose will tell you when the food is ready. Ready to be, oh, ready so be ready. To cancel your lazy time, you will burn the food. 
So S equals skills. Dash equals weight. F equals build fire, like we already knew. So do I have food on me? Oh, it gave me a pike to learn this. Okay, gotcha. So if I do uh, skills uh, cookery, uh, roast on fire, uh, the pike, all the necessary equipment. What is it offering to abort the task here? Oh, a grouse enters my view. That's completed. Meat and fish will spoil pretty quickly. Must be very nutrition as well as in preservation time. Probably take some time to learn more about them at some point. Let's see. Ask is to fell a tree. You need to zoom into a local map. You need an axe to fell bigger trees, but only a knife is required for slender trunks or small trees. Uh, check out your inventory. Stand by the tree you wish to cut down and fell it by using your timber craft skill. Wield your chosen tool weapon to get through the required equipment selection list faster. W for wield a weapon. Okay. Thank you, Serp. Also glad to see that that worked finally. Good time's a charm. Uh... So I have a knife, a hand axe, spear. Wielded as primary weapon, okay. So it's a skill under Timbercraft to fell a tree. And I can look at it with this, right? Should go ahead and make sure I'm using the keyboard command instead of reaching for the mouse. You look such a, a fool. Skills, Timbercraft, Bella Tree, need a cutting weapon. That didn't go so bad. Wood from trees in all its various forms is a useful material. Process the tree, Timbercraft skill if you like. Not every felled tree is suitable for every purpose. The main difference is whether the tree is a slender one or a big full sized one. For me, I'm also going to make notes in my text file the order in which this game told me things, because I assume that is at least somewhat implying the like priority of importance for things, right? So, order of tutorial. Drinking water. View its source. Zooming in and out. Although they teach me to drink water before zooming in and out, I feel like that's kind of ominous. Picking things up. Uh, making a fire, drop branches, or felled tree, F command, cooking stuff, on fire skills, cookery skill, uh, felling trees, S skills, M timber craft, felled tree with W axe equipped. Make various items by yourself. Tools, weapons, clothes, and buildings. Try to make yourself some items. Was this game, did this game always have a uh, graphics like it does right now, or did it used to just be like ASCII characters? Check out your inventory to see what you have, what you need. You might want to try an easy first piece of woodwork. M to make items. Wrapping, making items. I think writing this down will help me to internalize it better during the play here. Oh, did I need to like pick this up? Oh, it'll be ready in a few hours. You may not pick it up yet. Okay. So I could push this thing, right? I think it told me that earlier, P.
It's a little janky, but I think I can get it. Oh. Is this like, uh, cause my strength is terrible. Am I really bad at what I'm trying to do here? Oh, big old fire. Better not burn out soon now after all that, jeez. Okay, um, so what was I actually doing? I was just trying to get my fire there. So an item, right? Capital M for that. Uh, building clothes, fishing lumber. Building? Oh my god, okay, calm down, it's fine. M. What's something that's more simple? Clothes? I think I have fur or anything, right? Aren't super worn out. Grew the entire tree on top of it. Let's try this again. So S. Timbercraft. Fell a tree. Fine. All right, and then I can timber craft on top of it, right? Chop felled tree into blocks. But I have to be away from, okay, that's one I have to, I can't be on top of it basically, right? So S, M, C, go. Oh, but that's on a big tree trunk, is it? Okay. Four slender tree trunks. So what can I do with slender tree trunks? Yeah, how would I do that though? Like how do I, what am I, do I have to get branches or twigs from it? Can I make something with the item that's on the ground in front of me? Burr. Staff or wooden stake? But again, I have to be facing the thing to do it, right? So make lumber staff. Okay, so that is based on me standing on top of it, right? So lumber staff uh, one. Cutting weapon in a slender trunk. Equip yourself pretty well with only self-made items. You're unable to buy or trade for the equipment you need. You'll have to do items you can make yourself. It'll be rewarding and great fun if you want to live the life of a hermit or a wandering adventurer. Try out fishing. Fish with a fishing rod, a spear, or a club. These are active fishing. You fish passively by using nets. Use your fishing skill. Before going fishing, you may want to eat some food. If you have any, it's more comfortable to wait for a catch in a full stomach. Okay, let me add my notes here. So crafting, making items with M. Bringing on spelled tree. E to eat food. Eating food. Press E. Fishing. Sorry, I'm going to be really slow here at the beginning because I feel like documenting this is going to make it easier for when I play this next time. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Game course event is coming up. You got a fishing rod. Thanks, game. Roasted pike is still being prepared. Okay. S. F. Using fishing. Active fishing. Choose your fishing equipment. You want to use as bait. Okay. Not my bread. So did it burn my my thing burned because it took me too long to fish? Factors to define how many and what kind of fish you'll catch. Fishing method and equipment to use in your fishing skill affect your luck. 
Different types of fish are found at different depths. It didn't manage to catch the fish. I like that it lets me do that without having caught the fish. Build yourself a shelter. Shelter. Next task is to find a good place. Make a shelter by using your building skill. After your shelter is finished, you may want to sleep there a night or two. Roasted pike kit. Okay. Now I can eat the roasted pike, right? Okay. Wonderful. You are sweaty. Uh, I guess I'm going to keep following the game directions. I kind of wanted to try fishing again, but let's try to do this. Building a uh, shelter thing. So the game world is totally randomized, I assume. Five pounds of roasted pike. Oops. S B for building. Oh boy. So okay, so building is a skill. Let me make sure I understand this. Um, if I use X or capital M to enter the make menu, it gives me a bunch of things that I can craft. But those things that I can craft basically go into other skills. Like if I choose to do something with wood, that's automatically going to use my timber craft. And I could also use the timber craft skill to get to that same option to make something. Similarly, if I used M to do a building that would use my building skill, Wooden building. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. I really like the art on this. It's pretty. Need logs and an axe. Okay, so I can, can I like chop down a tree? I guess there's a log that's just on the ground over here. Tree trunk. I want to build a fire. We want to do skills, timber craft, fell a tree. Yes. So shelter is different. Okay. Um, shelter. Slender trunk and spruce twigs. So do I need a sorry, stand here, S Timbercraft. Wigs. Ten branches in a tree trunk. So how do I go about getting specifically twigs? Are those a special kind of tree that I have to find? Spruce, maybe? Uh, S, M. Branches. Spruce twigs, got it. So what did it all say that I needed here? There's, um... S, B, S, down. Roots twigs, I need a slender trunk. Which I think I left on the ground earlier when I chopped the tree down, didn't I? Down here. Ah, uh, heavy lord. Okay. So if I try it again. Shelter. Do I need to go pick up those spruce twigs? Or, no, I need more, right? I need a total of 20. Okay, I under think I understand. Page down. 
We need five more, I think. So I'm sure I would like to drop. Thank you. S M T. Yes. Twigs get. Yes, thank you. Have a heavy lord again. Oh, I didn't eat all of the pike when I bit into it earlier. Okay. Is that stuff like spoiled too, if I'm not careful? Wow, that rock is heavy as fuck. Okay. Still pretty full though. Is this because of my garbage strength stat, basically? Oh, I'm still carrying the tree trunks. Good lord. Um, all right, well, I'll try to build the thing here. Build. Shelter. Looks great. Shelter in the woods. Uh, skills build. Shelter is a specific building. Collect firewood or food near the shelter for later use. Use to build your shelter near water and have some with you. Spend part of the evening gathering food, fish, or berries. Spell. For supernatural spirits, guardians, and dwellers in the unreal world. Way of communicating with and affecting the spirit world. The spells and incantations that you learn. Do your spells and magic. Always be chosen to reflect your recent deeds or the present situation. Spell casting. So four. Some mittens. So, is there a thing for me to like rest at the shelter? Selected randomly. Sacrifice my nice pike. Pay attention to mythology information and spell descriptions. You'll learn more spells during the game, in addition to the ones you start the game with. Find signs of wandering animals by using your tracking skill. That's your next task. Okay. Tracking. Next to look in direction. Tracks are the easiest to find in the zoomed-in maps. They show graphically. So we use on the wilderness scale map also. We need to search for tracks in several places to find a trail. Once an animal is encountered face to face, an invisible trail is spotted. Okay, it's better for the winter time. Keep yourself fed, take a break, and continue again the next day. Give me a tracking upgrade for free there. So am I just, when I walk around, I'm just going to see them visually on the ground pretty much no matter what? Or do I have to like actively use a skill to look for them? I played this for about 48 minutes, Steph. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, my problem was trying to bring them over to where I wanted to place them, right? Because I, I'd have to build the shelter where the logs are. Ended up being the problem. How do I use it actively? Is that just by pressing the look command?
Or I can use the skill tracking. Oh, which I'm almost master in. You don't notice any tracks around here. Is that based on uh, the way I'm currently looking, or is it does that do 360 around me? I saw a creature earlier. Lingonberries. Usually have to wander pretty far afield. Okay, thanks. How does saving work in this game? Is it just constantly auto-saving or...? I'm guessing I can't save and then load if I make a mistake. can do this from the big map too, it sounded like. I can use that to find my way back, I'm guessing. Oh, that's nice. It, you can see the shelter now. I see, so when you walk around looking for tracks, it uses a copper amount of time to search that whole huge area, basically. Do not step into the water. Thank you. Your thirst is extinguished. Okay, so hunger meat is separate from your nutrition meter, I see. E. Nutrition abundant. So is it true that if I can, ex I can explore constantly, I'm not going to like get to a, a chunk or a zone boundary uh, while I'm in the zoomed in mode, right? Like I can just keep walking and I might actually be moving on the overworld without realizing it. No tracks. Tracks. Saw a moose. A bit further up from here, then, I guess. Water up here. Okay, so I didn't appreciate this, but black areas are regions that I haven't been able to see at all so far. Everything else just gets put in gray. Getting tired. to deal with that here in a second. I don't remember where the hell I was though. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Okay. Uh, enter. Check what the deal is with this thing. Fire will burn for one hour.
Ask Claus, you're too tired to continue, you need to sleep. Okay. So how do I sleep? That's just to wait, or is there another command for that? Explore but not in view. Okay. Z to sleep. Capital to sleep. Z. Sleep. Now I'm hungry and thirsty, so let's try to deal with that. Eat. Hike. We really want to try fishing again. So I always need bait, right? Uh, I can't reclaim my bait if I fail to catch something. Looks like I got one of my grouse cuts back. Four roaches. All. Marked out my fire. Uh, Timbercraft, Bell a Tree. That was the one I was working on before, I think. F. It's hard for me to tell sometimes. Some things require you to be standing on top of them, some things require you to be facing them. Smaller kindling like branches is required. Okay, so S, uh, M, T, go. G, yes, D, T, yes, seed. Make fire. Did not succeed in making a fire. Oh, you spilled the fish without bait. Interesting. So now I can do um, skill cookery, roast on fire, roaches for. This will cook faster, basically. And I can wait. And I can escape. Okay, I see. So I have to get each one one at a time, I guess. Three roasted roaches. Looks like none of them burned, so I think I'm okay with that. So now I can eat one, right? Just a roach. E, 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 E. Sweating a lot, God. This is a horror game. Back to tracking, I suppose. Oh, I see. Closeness to the shore is a problem. I'll try really hard not to get lost here. Um, the track's gonna be pretty hard to find then. But when I get long li line of sight, that's just because I'm like finding a clearing in the forest, I suppose. would sound like a creature in the distance. Not amazing, I'd say. Now it's raining. Enter. Eat. 
AC roasted pike. Nice. Get further sight if you're standing on a hill. Uh, probably wasted the rye bread there. We do Z. Fires out again. Burnt out fire with glowing embers. I guess you can use that to like tell if something was close to you. Fancy grass. Going this way instead, I suppose. rain make it harder to find tracks? I guess it could be better if there's mud. Big water area over here. Okay. Enter. Eat one of my roasted grouse cuts. Okay, not too bad. Probably do some more fishing here. I'd like to have like a supply. Can I, do I have the ability to store food yet? I guess I've got enough room in my inventory to just carry it around with me. Fishing. Active fishing. Two fishing rods. Save this as bait. So I can use another fish as bait. You didn't manage to catch any fish. Damn, that's bad. Does failing to fish also level up your fish stat? Try the spear, I guess. more points into that next time. <laughs> Do not enter the water, no. Uh, active. Repurchase. Yes. Probably not great to try to light a fire during this. Should be easier to fish with a rod. Okay. Does sleeping always take the same amount of time every time, or does it attempt to um, account for how tired I actually am? Is where if I already had a fire going, it would be easier. I see. Branches, yes. Branches. Okay, good. Perfect timing. Calculated. Drop all the branches, yes. Sounds great. Fire. Did not succeed in making a fire. Fire making skill is ass. Sweet. Let's get a whole tree on there again. That's worked pretty well for me so far. No, the rain put it out before I was able to put something on there. Bummer. You don't have to remember this place specifically. Okay. Can't find somewhere that's not raining. 
So I should just explore and just make a shelter whenever I need one, as opposed to continuing and coming back to this one. Shiny mushrooms. Did I have a skill earlier that was telling me for free? Was that Herblore that was saying it'll be ripe in like a month or whatever? I see. Well, actually, it looks like this is why weathercraft would be pretty useful if I could tell when it's going to rain or whatever. Months. Blueberry shrubs. Oh, nice. Foraging for berries. Usually, that's going to help with your thirst, too. Is foraging herblore? Fistful. It's not like an actual building that I have to defend. It's meant to be for exploration, I suppose. Try getting this fire going again. M. S. M. T. Yes. S. M. T. Yes. S. M. T. Yes. D, page down, R, yeah. And I guess I'll go ahead and have this on there early this time instead of waiting to push it there. Pick which thing I want to push, okay. Otherwise it tries to do it automatically, it looks like. All right, and now S C roast perches. All three go. Half an hour. Okay, and then I can do wait. Roasted perches. All three. Okay, wonderful. Oh, you can press R to repeat everything you just did. Can I do weather lore with that? I guess I'm competent in it. During the night, the temperatures will be slightly colder. It'll be raining a little. Tomorrow, the temperature will be slightly colder than now. It'll be raining a little. That's how you think. Does, if I use tracking on the, uh, no wait, those aren't tracks. What are those then? Wasn't mushrooms. Um, does tracking on the world map, like, search a bigger area? Or like, does it try to search the entire 
I guess I'll call it the strategic map and the tactical map. Does it search the entire tactical map if I do it from the strategic map? Kind of crap today, kind of crap tomorrow. Where am I? England? What was supposed to be Finland? Big rock. His favorite kind of rock. Oak weeds. Blueberry. Because after you play a while, you get a sense of which plants are in which. Um, Use your climbing skill. Oh, no, thank you. Are available in which seasons, I suppose? Black currants. So yeah, I think I need to get back on the strategic map here. Um, enter. Definitely, unfortunately, put my shelter in a place that's like really hard to see from anywhere else. Okay, so this is a hill, which is why I can see so much. I almost should have built it on the hill. I can see those from further away. So if I can't find my shelter, I could try to use a hill, potentially, to track it down. If it's facing the right way. Oh, there's a moose. I miss my moose opportunity, sadly. So how does, um... Oh good, those perches are great. When I see a moose, like, is a ton of time passing as I travel toward it on the world map? You know, like, get away from me almost instantly as soon as I can make it out? Looks like I didn't see any tracks. I have to get on the, the tile it was on in order to see the tracks. Some water. Do not step into the water. Vigor is vigorous, which is what you want to hear. For an animal again. I feel like a line of sight thing. Not good at swimming. Sure, yes. What equipment do I have for killing things? Not much. I have the axe. Flew away from me basically, because it's fleeing. I see. 
So would I have to use, do I have to like manually activate my stealth skill to stealth? Certain things seem to happen passively, but not necessarily everything, I suppose. Maybe I should turn that heading thing back on, now that I understand. That's still so weird. <laughs> Let's try to get used to it. Really hide. No, I can't. I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get used to that. <laughs> Let me put it back on. They can already craft stuff like that. Eat some of those. A stale grouse cut. We go fishing again a little bit here. Um, skill fishing, but I think I went from forty percent to forty-five percent in fishing. Fishing rod. I can use mushroom as bait. That makes sense. Does it though? And it uses up part of the mushroom in the process, I suppose. Pleasant mushroom is unknown to you. Do you really want to eat it? Or a hungry boy, okay? Sit down, spit in the water, and start to angle, dreaming of a huge catch. You got injured. But I injured myself. What the hell? Oh, because I ate the mushroom. Great. Of course. I should have known. Oh, I love my little icon. <laughs> I'm like crawling around. I thought maybe my herb lore skill would save me there, so if I wanted to know if a mushroom is poisonous, uh, can I do that with a skill? I'm like, I'm like a master herb lore man. Deadly poisoning. It's fine. There's no external treatment for deadly poisoning. I ate like fucking fly garlic mushrooms or something. I thought that it was already doing herb lore for me by telling me like how long it would take for things to become ripe. I guess that was incorrect. I see. You can save, but you can't load. Alright, well, I think I understand the game a little bit better now, so I can try this again with my next character, since this guy is extremely dead. You are not tired. Just dying. Use the physician skill. Oh, is that what physician? It pulls up this menu automatically, basically. How do I stand up if I wanted to stand up?
the injury is presumably getting worse because of the poison. You feel the poison growing in your body. Get up. Let me add this to my notes. Uh, don't randomly eat mushrooms, dumbass. Okay, cool. Yeah, it'll be fine, you know? Nice little pleasant mushrooms. Just like walk into the sea, walk into the water. I do feel poison growing in my body. I have nothing to eat. Oh, like when you go to eat it, there's a pop-up saying, this isn't known to you? Okay. Yeah, I assume that might be a problem, but I, I don't know. I thought maybe because of my herb lore, that's why it was called a pleasant mushroom. I thought the herb lore was telling me, like, the time to ripen, and it would say, like, that's a really dangerous mushroom by a default if it was a really dangerous mushroom. Let myself die here. Um, go back to waiting, it's fine. Okay, so the hunger meter being full is I'm not taking damage yet, but as it turns yellow and then red, that's when it's problem. Your deadly poisoning is getting worse. Oh, okay. Is it a label based on its appearance? So, okay, so... So I am kind of right. Like, it is doing something passively, right? In that it was telling me, oh, that's milkweed, oh, that's blueberry. Um, but I have to be able to tell the difference between a specific name and a generic name. Marstead, the hermit woodsman, lived a middling life, ate a poisonous mushroom, and fucking died. Yeah, despite having... being a master herbalist... You have died. Hey, congratulations. Losing is fun. Died from poisoning. In the place of his death, he died from poisoning. He died at 16, having spent six days adventuring. Way to go out up there and uh, explore the world, man. Let me pause the music while we're on. We have title screen music. Uh, load a save character. You don't have any, idiot. Ancestors are dead characters, I assume. Okay. Longest lived journey distance. Custom. Um, don't eat mushrooms. Uh, the name will remind me of how I died last time. Learned something today. Can't contain character spaces. Uh, Mushroom boy. Let's try Owl Tribe again. Let's look like the previous Mushroom boy. Summer. Uh, okay. Yeah, I had a lot of maxed out skills last time. 
Can you technically roll a perfect character with everything maxed out? 10 out of 10, would visit Finland again. <laughs> so clearly it must be what it's like. Okay, continue. Oh, this is different. Um, so what what determines which of the spells I get to start with? Are these somewhat randomized? Because I'm the same culture. I guess I have slightly different stats. Setting snares for hares. It sounds like the name of like an indie rock band. Greeting the earth upon going to sleep. Oh, good lord, that's a thing that can happen? Yikes. Okay. Okay, general sacrifice and bear skull are guaranteed. Five, so what determines how many skill points I get to distribute here at the beginning? Uh, let's think about what I actually used last time. I like having cookery. Experts as far as I can take herb lore. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just gonna go all herb lore, baby. Yeah, I wasn't even better. I was better at herb lore on my other character. Incredible. It's pretty terrible at fishing. Oh, I can only put one point maximum in each of these skills. Okay, I understand. I'd like to be better at tracking. So I can get past that step, maybe. You always have five, okay. Cultural regions. This looks like those generally rolled in the same places. That works. Oh shit, I apparently randomized it again by accident. Dark green is forest, light green is plains, is that true? Wonder if I just started somewhere that was too dense. Roll the place that I would have taken if I wasn't pressing it too fast there. I did it again. Alright, let's just slow it down a bit here. Maybe I want to be on top of the settlement if I can avoid it, right? That's probably fine. Oh, there's a button to start in your own culture. Oh man, why does that keep happening? Oh no, I see why it's happening. It's because I had it. Oh god. Okay. E is enter. E is enter. And enter on the keyboard is do the thing that's highlighted. That's why I screwed it up twice there. But being on top of one is fine. Okay. I did it again. I did it again. Okay. E. E. Not. Get your right hand the fuck away from the keyboard. Okay. <laughs> Let's try. I want to be a fisherman again. Living in the wild. Mushroom boy. Okay. It's back on. There's some water. I like the photos and stuff, it's kind of cool. Drink. Done. Got it. Zoom in and out. Pick shit up. Rock is different from stone. Okay, I understand. Well done. Make a fire. Okay. So you can press R to just do the same thing again. R and then space, I guess.
Can't build anything inside a town. Okay. Crop. Okay, so my starting equipment was fully randomized. And it will let me... These are in red because I can't drop what I'm currently wearing, I assume. Proceed. S, M, F, that thing. Push, push, light fire. Is build fire associated with a skill? Fish and hunt. Cookery, yes. Oops, uh, cookery, roast, shit. No, no, stop. Cookery. First try. A few hours, okay. Fill a tree. Used to be a skill in the past. Wow, even this game dropped fire making as an official skill. <laughs> Take notice, RuneScape, you have the dumbest skill in the history of video games. <laughs> even a game that's literally about surviving in the wilderness is like, we don't need that to be tracked mathematically. Are you serious? Timber work. Okay. Now I can make a staff again. One. Oh, this doesn't count as timber because it's... Tree trunk, which is different, I suppose. Or do I have to do something to the trunk to get it to be... is full. It's very tasty and devoured with great appetite. I'm surprised that it's not letting me make the staff though. Like, do I have to do something else to the timber first? Tall versus small trees is just based on their apparent height on the map. Yes. Slender tree trunks. Make lumber staff one. Okay, that requires a slender trunk, I see. Obtain a crude staff. Fishing. I was really bad at it last time, and it uses a ton of like time to try to do. Uh, uh, fishing. Active fishing. Fishing rod. Can I choose to not use something as bait? I think the answer is no. Sucks. I need to go like, can I, can I go hunt for worms? Zah. Ten roaches. Good God. That went way better. Try escape when being asked for bait. Okay, I'll try that next time. Shelter. Birch. Spruce sapling. I'm guessing I can't get. Uh, it's only a spruce sapling and doesn't provide the proper branches. 
And I specifically need spruce to get twigs, right? Okay, here we go. So, uh, SMT, go. I needed 20 SMT go. I needed building, shelter, spruce trees, and slender trunks. Or slender trunks, okay. Uh, B, S, go. Okay, uh, S, B, S, go. Yeah. You shelter get. Check your spells. Reading the earth upon going to sleep. So do I have to spend anything to cast those? Or is it like just like saying words? Tracking. Okay, this is where I was before. Oh shit, I left the roaches on the ground. Whoops. Does cooking them make them last longer too? Let's see. Roast. G. All. Go. Eat shortly. Roasted roaches. Probably save some of those and not cook them to use later. Drink. Thank you. Yes. Eat some of them roaches. Well fed. Don't notice any tracks. Okay. I wonder if I was at a really shitty like water site before, so I wasn't catching the amount of fish that I would have needed. All right. Zooming out. Really need to try to like, next time I have to start a character again, um, put my house in somewhere that makes a lot of sense. Zoom into the train map. You see I press H to hide. Being clearly seen requires me to like, begin sneaking. Build that spear. Is the arrow showing where it's looking? And it flees. Okay. I see. Am I ever going to find tracks just from like blind searching, or am I almost always going to need to see a uh, like a a moose? See a bear, a burr. Uh, 
Time to die to a bear. We don't notice any tracks. Don't have the bear trap anymore. Okay, so peculiar grass means I don't know what it is. Uh, can I herb lore it to try to learn what it is? I only get one roll on each kind of grass, I assume. I'm a master tracker and I can't spot this guy, apparently. Oh, I see the tracks now. I like, literally see them on the ground now. Why does the skill not identify them? Tracking! Huzzah! Man is not the only being roaming the unreal world. Wide variety of animals that you can't avoid encountering from time to time. Task is to wander until you encounter an animal in the wilderness. Wander the map, try out your tracking skill. We'll share the news about sightings of bigger animals. Get that uh, completion when I approach the bear. Now it says you spot some tracks. Hooray. Oh, like it'll add them onto the map, basically. Persistence hunting. Let's go. Answer the eternal question of whether a bear shits in the woods. Leading southwest. Very fresh. Bear is fucking booking it. Still going southwest, huh? Did I lose it? Saw the last of its tracks and now I don't see any more tracks anywhere. Womp womp. Mushrooms. Sex, sorry. If I, if I permanently lost this bear, um, just can like go into a cave or something. Character seems to be able to tolerate bad weather much better than my previous character. Or it takes longer to become fatigued. I don't know if that derives from strength. 
Like I got tired instantly on my previous character. It did let me use fish without bait, thank you. It's gone. Do not step into the water. Perches, cool. Timing on the rain there. Well, I got a decent amount of food at the moment. My vigor level is weary. Do I need to craft nets? Kindling required. Okay. SMT. You got a Shimigami Tensei to get your kindling. Okay, so I can have a better estimate of when it will be done based on my cookery skill, I take it. Oops, I don't know what I just ate. Oh, I ate the pie cooker. Spawned with two nets. Set of nets. Water has to be a certain depth, I guess. Nice. Is the depth what I can see there? Like the darkness of the blue, basically? I set it from a boat. Okay. Which I don't have. Um. Sucks not catching fish, it feels bad. If I wait into the water, will that make the spear fishing better too? A perch. Try it just for fun. are freezing. And wait by the fire to be less freezing. Okay, I see. Comfortably warm. So 
if a grouse is flying, it's already too late for me to catch it, probably. Ooh. The water is so cold by default. Okay, uh, let me go back and try to look for a creature here. It has activity right now. I saw something interesting over here. So can I like go to a hill and wait? And will that stop if it sees something interesting? I didn't think of doing this before. I'm definitely seeing a person there, but... I'll try to tell it's auto-pause, right? Quite weary. out, but that's okay for now. I'm doing fine on food still. Yes, please. Does nighttime just like cause an inherent debuff to my vision distance? Like even if creatures show up from the strategic menu, you don't get a tactical pause for creatures here, right? Only if it's in the same tile or chunk as you. Bit thirsty. Seems like trying to just passively track is kind of a waste of time. Oh, it's hair. Task completed. You've encountered something wild. It's not in your sight from the start. You can move around on the zone map to find it. You can locate the animal. Let me add this to my text list. After tracking, S plus T to actively track. Or review tracks on the ground. Let's look for track sprites. After tracking, find animals on overworld, hide, hunt them down. All right, you look at the animal, stalk it if you're hungry, run away if it's dangerous. Different animals behave in different ways, activate different times of day. Knowing their habits is important. Hunt down and kill an animal. The animal you've encountered is too challenging. Back away and go track down something else. Wish I had more sneak. Oh, we're learning new things here. Only animals. Back with weapon one. He throw something. Good arrow. My last character had a bunch of points in bows. 
Uh, this one has is garbage at everything. It's sixty five percent in bow. Not, I guess, okay at spear. Bunny's dumb is the question. I could see the value of putting more points into sneak. Stealth expertise is disturbed due to the load you're carrying. So this bunny doesn't leave tracks, it looks like. I think I lost it. Oh, is that on my list of skills? That's just basically a spear. Well, I know what my next objective is. It's find and kill a single thing ever. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna put points into spears next time and make some javelins. You just make those from trees. need nine staves to fire okay oh really so do I basically always need ranged attacks for this like melee is never gonna cut it Now I remember where my shelter was at all, but I guess it's just a shelter. I can build another one. We really wanted to be near water though. Oh, hey, long search is over. Oh, really? Slender trunk doesn't work with, I guess this is not a slender trunk that I'm looking at here. Weird. Do I just need to have more trunks to be able to make the staves that I want to make? We have, um, where is my staff? I don't actually see it in my inventory here. But I made one earlier. Oh, really? Well, as many as possible, be as many as you are able to make with your current inventory is kind of my misread on it. I have to make a fire. Oh. Yeah, add a note to my text file here. Um, Grouse, it's flying.
I have to start fishing again here soon. Let me just do it now while I'm thinking about it. Sure I have this going before it starts raining. Okay. Is there any reason to keep using the same fire pit? I've just been doing it to do it, but maybe that's silly. Perch is probably bad at this point. Seal doesn't necessarily mean bad, does it? Easier to light up if they still have embers. Ah, okay. But if it's just a dead fire pit, it doesn't really matter, I take it. That's bland, okay. Eat it earlier, possibly. Notice there's a thing that said restful effort. Can I do more effort than restful? <laughs> Fishing skills going up kind of, I think. What um, what determines your starting skill percentages? Is that do those all derive from your attributes, or do those get randomly determined too? I kind of want to make a character who's like a fucking amazing fisherman from the very beginning. I don't care about anything else, just that I can survive to do the tutorial. <laughs> Three more roaches. Remember that time I got ten roaches. It's a combination of attributes and culture. Okay. Who's the, is there, is there a fisher culture? Trying to use the roaches as bait. Too tired to stay on your feet. Oops. Which of those would you think is the easiest to play as, given that I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> Trying to spend money to make money over here using roaches to catch roaches, but maybe they're too big or something? This ain't going great, folks. Dude, you really suck. Catching fish. You should be ashamed of yourself. Light a fire, yes. Roast. Those stale roaches shit. Tried.
I like that smell as a stat. It's pretty great. Land roach. Ugh. Middling fishing skills you can survive indefinitely, but a lot of time is going to be spent on fishing. Sure. God, man, you suck at this. We're up to 49%, though. Really? So should I be focusing on shopping more? I haven't been doing that because I thought maybe the tutorial would push me to that if it was expected earlier. So trading is just using timber craft. I can do that with... I'm wondering if I should start over again. Um, each time I'm doing this, I'm learning more about the game, though, so... I don't know if I just want to stay alive. Uh, I think it was supposed to be west of me, if I recall correctly. Too tired to stay on your feet. Just sleeping in the forest, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> underestimates the difficulty of killing an animal. It says we're south of Drake. Okay, so I can use that to keep track of where places are. Hiding based on distance and line of sight blockers. You failed to sneak unnoticeably. Okay, it fled. So do I earn stealth XP by attempting to sneak at least? Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Only works if you're sneaking well near things that can detect you. Okay. Any water around here? I'm about to die of thirst. Southeastern Drake. So when it says I'm in Drake, that means that. This is technically the settlement, so I can maybe find. Is it just gonna be people wandering around, or are they gonna have buildings and stuff? Looking for water, here we go. Aping Heath. Foreign Trader. So how do I interact with them? I just walk up to them, basically. Like a talk command, maybe. Chat. Hello. Chat. Let's see. Great. Who are you? I am Mushroom Boy. Good to know you, Mushroom Boy. Who are you? How's it going? Trade items. Okay, so he has a hand axe, which is less shitty than mine, I guess. This is all barter, I assume. Which of my items would you prefer in this trade? 
You don't have enough valuable goods to complete this trade. I guess I've been out of shit, aren't I? Does greeting them do anything here in terms of like improving the sale or you can I go straight into trying to buy stuff from them? Fine spear. It gives you a pop up when you see a village. And you all have like Food. Okay. Ask for directions. Strange region for me to. Oh, they only care about furs. Okay. Settlement comes into view. So it's cool. Rob people. This game keep track of reputation for things like that. Craftsman. Looking for a village. Any caves around here? Trade. You like the goods here? Pick up the ones you need. Come talk and we'll see about trading them. Buy an animal. Right, so not every village necessarily has merchants in it. Seeing if I can buy some food before I die here. Ember roasted turnips. Well, pick those up so as to not die, I think. Oh, this is how you trade? So I don't get to keep them, okay. That guy looks like the title screen guy. Pay my debts. Which my items would you like? How about your club? Items would you prefer? It's already given my club. Do I have to start over? Offer items, club, done. What you offers need to be doubled to get those goods for yourself. But then what if I say, does that mean that he's close to being okay with it, basically? Here, have a rock. Won't take the rock. Spruce twigs? Can't do twigs either. So normally I guess the stuff I would trade would be like crafted items. Give you the shirt off my back, man. If 
I can drop them from out of here. Okay, let me note how this trading system works. It's surprising. All right, to trade, pick up items lying around in town. Only the amount you want, then barter with the townsperson. maybe. See, trade, pay my debt. What would you like? Club, club. So I'm still a little ways off here, so drop, turnips, one, go. Chat, trade, Yes. Uh, club. Accept your offer. Excellent. Now I won't die. Don't, don't get to live for very much longer. Am I not allowed to chop trees and stuff in settlement areas? regular log, right? I'm wondering like what I can try to craft to make some money here. Slender tree trunks, okay. So this would be a good reason to put a bunch of points into timber craft, I suppose. Can I usually sell staves? Um, make lumber staff five. Okay. Or rough and one crude staff. And the reason I got rough and crude is because of low timber craft stat, basically. Um, I wanted to make my javelins now, I might be able to. Need fire for that, though, right? So that I can sleep in their houses. They won't mind about that. Die again soon, I can feel it in my heart. M W Javelin five. Five rough javelins. You're as hungry as a bear. Houses sometimes have a fire in them already. So I guess the turnips I dropped on the ground are just gone now, I assume. Dax, arrows, ropes, yarn, raw dax. Of water, sauna stove. And ask them about the water, right? Southeast. So I don't die of thirst. Is it usually not in the village proper? Just near the village? Thank you. 
let's see. Hooray! Alright, still need to get some food, or I'm gonna die very soon. Crossbow. Definitely seems like the hardest part of this game is probably the beginning of the game when you can't, like, really sustain. Let's do, I don't know, five? Wasn't as good as the turnips before. Trade, it doesn't matter who I go to trade with. All right, so it tries to pick the javelins because it's the thing that's the most valuable in my inventory, but it might not be enough still, right? Two thirds. What happens if I start trying to steal them? They just, <laughs> I get bad rep with them and they all try to murder me. I see. Okay, it's a deal. That's much better. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back to chopping trees. I'm going to try to make a, a tree chopping plus perch buying loop here um what are my skills oh my timber craft is so bad i kind of want to start over one more time just to uh to try to level up my timber craft and just make that my my main skill instead of fishing fishing seems to be all over the place if i wanted to make a new character uh do i have to die to do that or can i just go to the title screen does it like keep a save for each character that you were working on but didn't finish or die on? It looked like it, that there was like multiple slots for loading characters there. Okay, I'll give it a try. Um, pause this. So this is good. If I did this, what uh, what culture has the highest bonus to timber craft, and what uh, attribute governs it? Let's see, I, I died because I was bad at carving things. Aw, oh, man. Just do bad carpenter. Don't need to bring curse words into this. Okay. Lady this time. Why not? Summer. And uh, which one is the best stats for Timbercraft? I guess there's probably a wiki for this game, right? I wouldn't mind using it here. Unreal World. Timbercraft. So summarizes this, what it does. Best way to train Timbercraft. Uh -huh. I love that that's like become the euphemism for grind <laughs> in games like this. Oh, it's not grinding, it's, it's training. It's skill training. Timbercraft. I was gonna just try to get good stats all around. And of course, the fandom wiki is just a copy paste of the real wiki, as, as is the way with fandom. All right, let's see what we can get here. That first character I rolled had a ton of just maxed out bars. I was really shocked. 
Strength, endurance, and dex. Well, I haven't tried that before. Oh, intelligence is kind of, kind of shitty. I'd love to have max endurance. That would be great. Strength, dex, and agility. All right. Well, here. Let's go, lady. Making a squirrel stay still in a tree. Loop snare. So these, the second ones aren't necessarily magic. They're just treated on the spells menu as though they were magic. All right. Uh, I guess you're starting Timbercraft. Can't be that amazing, can it? All right, that's fine though. Um, I'm gonna do a weapon here. So you said javelins count as spears. I'm gonna try to be javelin woman. Um, cookery seems worth it. Cracking seems worth it. I wish I could get more herbler here. No, you can only put one point per skill, otherwise I would just go timber, timber, timber. I think I might be able to dump other stats. Yeah, I don't know. So looks like the map generally generates in a similar way every time, yeah? Might try to spawn inside Drake this time. What did I have remaining to learn in the tutorial? Because I guess I could pop out of the tutorial now. We could try to learn the rest of it manually. Although I guess being in the tutorial, all it does is occasionally generates an item for me, right? I did the same thing again. I hit enter to think that was confirmed. I'm curious what comes after kill an animal. I don't want to be a fisherman anymore. What are my other choices now? I want to be a carpenter. Oh, I see. This is affecting your starting gear. Agriculture sounds interesting. What about companion? Do I have to feed my companion separately? Maybe I should stay on Fisherman. A lot of these other ones sound pretty hard. Well, spawning next to a village would be nice. Left your home and village. During your childhood and adolescent years, you learned the skills of your people. Promise leads you to the village on their way. If it's a safe way to start playing, you can equip your character carefully before going out to the wilderness and have a safe place to return to if you face setbacks or dangers. It means I can also just rest here at will, too, right? Unfortunate hunting trip is better than it sounds. I'm okay to try to primarily survive via trading. Um, do towns have a limited inventory, or does it refresh after a while? Bad Carpenter, that's me. I get the roundhousing the tree to make the squirrel stay, but the are the um traps that you can set, the snares. I guess you're like blessing a, a snare or something like that. Oh, hey, there's the water. Okay, closer look, yep. Picking up.
Picking a fire. Okay, they don't get mad at me for picking up a random rock. Gotcha. Oh, I start with a bow this time. Well, that's too bad. Finally, I start with a bow and I have no points in archery. Uh, although her default archery is not bad, actually. It's pretty close to the spear. Right on. Okay. Um, let's drop this rock. Oh, let's start the music again. I'm sorry. Presents. Make a fire. Is fire making, uh, like the success chance derived from another skill if they got rid of fire making as an explicit skill? Items you refresh, but you can always stock. Count on food being in stock. Okay. Cookery. Oh, I don't have an axe on this character, that's weird. So I got a bow instead of an axe. Do I need an axe to be able to do most Timbercraft things? It seems kind of bad. Overdid it on the pike, but that's okay. Stone axe is just by finding stone lying around. Yeah, I'll probably just be able to chop some stuff down to bootstrap myself so I can trade for a better uh, thingy here. Weapons, stone axe. A slender trunk. Do I start with a rope, I guess? I have to trade for a rope, too. Yeah, I can just check town to see if there's one here. Let's pull that at once. make it out of my clothes directly. Fine Woodman's Axe. Well, I'm not going to be able to afford that, but I can try. That's what I want here. Trade. Pay my debt. Which of my items would you like? Okay. I can try to trade back for it later. I just want to try this approach out. I don't know if it's actually going to work, but it's an interesting way to do it. So, uh, SMF, yes. Do it yourself. I'm sure working on it here. I have to know how many are on the ground here, don't I? Oh, this isn't a slender trunk. Oh, it's only three, okay. So, lumber, staff, three, go. Okay. 
fishing uh, fishing rod. Weapons, javelins, three. Fine javelins, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it back in a second. Do you always start with a knife? Big trees, man. Huh? Spot some tracks, so oh, it's probably the people, right? Hours old human tracks, okay. It's also just a regular tree trunk. Huh, I thought that counted as a small tree. There we go. Alright, so, uh, uh, SM, no, um, M, L, 2, 4, was it? You like try to be able to tell how many there are there. Okay. Decent stabs. All right. Let's go see if I can trade the stuff I've already made for some food real quick. The water was like right in here. Let that stock sound. Do not step into the water. Yes. Okay. Now there's my knife. So if I pick that up. Leather rope, badger cuts. Get some of those badger cuts. Uh, trade. I'd like to pay my debts. What would you like? Fishing rod, arrow, and javelin. I give two javelins? <laughs> So I have no need for arrows. Okay. All right, I forgot to start with some food too in that pike, but that's okay. All right, back to tree chopping. I'm hoping I can get to a point where I can kind of make this borderline sustainable. It's so like this counts as a young spruce, okay, because it's shorter than the other trees, I see. Um, Timbercraft. Now, if I wanted to just like level up Timbercraft, is there a particularly good way for me to do that? I know you said it's like really slow, but just anything would be nice here. I thought I saw something on the Timbercraft page about it. It was like, make boards. Okay. I wonder if I can even sell boards. Uh, SM, F. Uh, M. Surprised it's not under lumber. I see tying equipment. Don't actually. Um, under building, maybe? Which 
Chopping logs into blocks and they're into cups or shovels is a decent way to make money. Okay, that would be cool. Thanks. And that can be a big tree trunk. CM, uh, SM. Chop felled tree into blocks. Oh, but I have to be next to it, okay. And then from there I do S, M, oh, I see split a trunk into boards is also possible. So I have to just pick up the, the blocks of wood and then I use those for oh, 320 pounds. Okay, we're not doing that. Do I need to like unlock more lumber? things basically or does it show up under something else like utility article okay wooden shovel right and wooden cup or wooden bowl sometimes it requires you to use the thing you're standing on Got an inferior wooden shovel. Just passed out while making a shovel. Okay, let's try to not do that next time. It would be good to not pass out. Turns out. You actually use the shovel to try to dig for stuff? I'm guessing your chance of finding anything is, like, astronomically low. Um, okay. So, SM. Chop tree into blocks. Go. Yes. M. Yes, yeah, so like, here I can use the blocks that are on the ground. We're doing cups this time. Rough wooden cup. But for agriculture, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna make. So, does this, can I figure out what skill is being used to make these things? So it looks like you use Timbercraft to make javelins, right? But not necessarily other... Is anything that's being made out of wood is always going to... I guess part of the problem is the woodman's axe is awkward. That's really not best for what we're trying to do here. Decent wooden bowl. I see. So I might want to try to get a precision crafting something or other. Let me see what other stuff isn't done. They had a battle axe, which isn't what I need, obviously, but... Move water, sauna... Do not step into the water. Cups aren't worth a lot, but they're light. Elk cuts. Or if the bowls are worth more. Trident for like uh, spear fishing, basically. I've read an inferior shovel. Shovels are worth a decent amount of money, it sounds like. They make javelins of better quality. Okay, does that make sense? Just a few more things you say. We'll use individual arrows as pennies. I see. 
Let's not use blocks though. Okay, I didn't even appreciate how many of those blocks I had available here too. So I need to use up all the blocks and then I'll start working on javelins, I guess. I guess I could try to make my own axe at some point. Decent wooden pull. Just a single arrow is worth a decent amount. I remember to sleep. Tried elk cuts for a pretty good deal for a single piece of bread. All their axes must be bought. Okay. Yeah, so I'd love to get a better... This game is clicking for me a little bit better now, focusing it around, like, trying to... Um, get good at a skill and then trade to survive and maybe go exploring for new towns and stuff. Not that it was entirely not clicking for me before, but before it was like, oh my god, I don't think I can survive long enough to get anything done in this game. <laughs> I feel like I need to like build up some some gear and equipment and then go out and maybe try to start doing the hunting tasks and the like. So this is five slender tree trunks. So we do um, M, W, four, five. Oh, I have to make the staffs first, right? So M, L, two, five, yeah. Five decent staves. And then uh, MW45. Need a fire, but it's raining. Okay, well, let me do something else. Let me keep chopping trees down, I guess, in the meantime. M. Um, does the amount of uh, slender lumber you get from cutting down a tree is it just random based on the tree or can my timber craft make that better or worse you get a hand axe in the tutorial okay yeah i'd have to be able to actually like track down and kill a creature which i don't feel super confident in maybe if i'm able to eventually make the uh Make some really good javelins. Um, staff five, go, yes. Feeling very vigorous. Four decent and one rough staff. So when it says you could have done better but can't make good out of bad, does that mean that your skill would have let you get decent but because the source material was crap, that's what caused the problem? M, lumber, two. Decent staves. And then we can do M, W, four, at ten. Oh yeah, I need a fire. So I kept chopping because the rain was going to make it hard to make a fire. I'll keep chopping then, I guess. We at here. 48% timber craft. Guessing it's just generally hard to, to train any skill in this game. You get like 1% every several actions or something like that. One of these days, I'll get these commands down and just be able to fly through them. One of the houses almost always has a live fire. Okay, that would be nice. It's annoying to have to make them constantly. Just check all the houses until I find one with the fire. 
Sauna stove wouldn't work, right? It's got to be an actual like campfire. Place might work. So it is working. Decent javelin, wonderful. Probably should be careful making this many at once because my hunger isn't a max out. I'll be too tired. So do I get anything for what I was working on before? Like, do I get partial staves there, or did I just waste a bunch of time? I think I wasted a bunch of time. And food. Shoot. Well, okay. That's the way to learn, I guess. One at a time. Is it up to stand up? MW four, yes, one. Oh, R works for crafting. Okay, thank you. That helps. Ready to drop. And I probably got a rough javelin because I was too tired there as part of the issue. Okay, I need to start paying closer attention to that. Sleep. Seems like that has a really big impact on how uh, good you are at stuff, whether you're vigorous or not. Not hungry and not thirsty too seems to matter. Plenty of food in this town. So I'm kind of taking me trading for food as like the reason for leveling up my timbercraft skill here. That's what I'm paying for leveling it up rather. Words, trade, pay my debts. Really just want a wooden bowl? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's even better. I didn't have to give up any of my javelins there. Rad. So I have to buy more stuff. Eventually I'm going to like tap out this town's food supply and have to go move somewhere else, right? So what's the deal with the penalty there? Is that, um, you guys have a couple questions. Am I safe to just like drop shit? Like I can't make a chest to store things, right? Is that generating more penalty because I'm carrying too much crap? Oh, the big thing is the staves are heavy as hell. Okay, maybe it'll get better if I'm not carrying so much crap at once. Sweaty girl over here standing in front of a fireplace making javelins. It's a normal thing to do. 
Very hungry. What are we doing? Timbercraft's 48%. I could just leave some items on the ground to reduce my penalty a bit. Oh, and there's a pretty significant fatigue penalty. Thank you. But not work in a village. It's nice that you only sleep exactly as much as you need to. It's like RuneScape. <laughs> Sit here and try to train. Okay, so I don't know if... Is making items not necessarily drawing from the same skill every time? Like, I'm curious if making javelins even counts for Timbercraft, or if that's... Oh, maybe that's this carpentry, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay, so Timbercraft is chopping down the trees. Carpentry has probably been going up, and I haven't been noticing it. Gonna look at the VOD to see what it was before I started making these. Okay. Well, let's keep going then. I didn't even notice that Carpenter was a skill. I would have named my character. Well, the next one's gonna be Worse Carpenter. <laughs> okay. Uh, weapon. All right, I have this thing where I can do it. Javelins weigh quite a bit less than the staves, which is nice. Now we're out of staves, which is good. Fatigue is a completely separate thing from vigor. Okay, let me see. Oh, like from my starting stats, you mean it'll show me like the bar will be fuller? I did get points in carpentry there, so that does seem to at least contribute a little bit, if not the main stat for it. Let's buy some more y'all's food. I think this one's all gone now. There's just a cloak. Sickle, male mittens. Smoke trouts, elk cut. Okay. Somebody bought some of their food. It's not me, I'm enraged. What would you like? <laughs> I'll take it for your shirt. Get out of here, bud. Needs to be tripled. Whoa, we're halfway there. All right, so I think bowls and shovels and stuff are worth way more than javelins, it looks like. Pleasantly close, he says. Dick. try working on I need to get a better axe so I'd have to like search around for towns that might sell a hand axe or to continue doing the quest until it grants me one fatigue and more like exertion okay makes sense brown shield metal trousers Hmm. 
Now, I started at a village. That's because my background generated this village, but there's still actual towns associated with the the Dreaker, the folks that I started near, right? So I could try to track them down, I suppose. Just seeing if I can buy a new axe somehow. Look for roads. Maybe I can get my step for tracking here. Might even be able to get it from tracking the humans in the village. I didn't think about that. What was my actual current step? It was fishing. Shit. Okay. Well, I could probably get. I could probably do human tracking. That would be fine. Check my items here. Yeah, I don't think I'm killing that thing. I guess I equip the spear. So now I have to kill a creature anyway, so I probably don't want to waste my time killing a creature now. And what causes my tracking skill to advance? Is that just successfully tracking a creature or looking at tracks on the ground or something? Another village, which is hype. Hello, folks. So a splitting axe. What's the best possible axe I can get for um, for crafting? Or what's the different um, use cases for a woodsman's axe versus a splitting axe? Let's see what else they have here. Oh, cows. Finding tracks. Forge and firewood. Okay, I guess I can use that to train the skill more. Well, that's a lot of fish. Forge, firewood, and um, blocks. There's there's not like a crafting axe or an equivalent for crafting. Carving. Okay. So I basically have to find a. Get lucky and find a town that has a carving axe specifically. I think I should be okay if I'm just careful with. And the roads are basically just those like. Empty wilderness areas that don't have a bunch of forest. Balax for carving guts out. I need to go fishing as part of my quest, so I might do that in a second here. Masterwork sickle. This place has food for days. Woodsman's axe. So how about a woodsman's axe? I guess that's that's the one I currently have, isn't it? For chopping down trees. Okay. I have a fine wood Zax, that's why I was confused. Um, right. So let's eat something. So it generally seems like the shops in towns are specialized. Like that was the axe store, that was the sword store. If I find an axe in one shop, is it unlikely I'm going to find one in another shop? Hot yarn. I'm gonna look for settlements here. Oh, right, wrong button. I wanted M to be the map key. It's not how that works. So 
a lot of reindeers. It'd be nice if I still had some javelins on me. Oh well. No, we do not step into the water. Sometimes there'll be multiple stories that are all the same thing. I see. But the stores themselves tend to be specialized, it seems like. Twenty-eight dried bear cuts. I'm so gonna be set if I can just I might be able to fish over there, huh? Get it out the way. I think I only have to attempt it to. Um Can't expect to catch any fish from this location. Oh, does it have to be like a big lake, not like a water source in a town? I see, so some shops might be like general store, a variety of things. Uh, what about a broad axe? Is that also intended to be a weapon? Salts. Salts for preserving food, I assume. Oh, that's for buildings. Okay. So many woodsman's axe. I've seen every axe several times now, except the one I want. Take a hand axe or that. Seems like a bigger town, though, so that's nice. 18 arrows, short bow. Spots still aren't very good, huh? But I saw a bigger water source up here somewhere. Oh, maybe this one. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, that sucks. So won't let me do it there. Yeah, right. So many settlements. I see why you want to start here, because it's mostly friendly people who will all trade you things. You said one of the places you said not to go game saucer was like, I assume that there's like hostile people there or something. God, so much fish. Let's see. That's like their deal. Fine spear, staff. Y'all don't have any axes. You're useless to me. This is supposed to be a road, right? Oh, is that two settlements? Ooh. All right. I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it now. <laughs> Just trying to roll a town with good stuff for sale. Darn, Hempo. All bastard sword. Stop it with the splitting axes. Oh my god.
Masterwork carving axe. Fuck yes. Okay. All right. Probably not going to be able to afford whatever they want for it. Okay. Can I hang out in the town and use the axe to chop stuff and then pay for it? How does debt work? Like, is it based on leaving too far from the town or something? Fishing rod and fine woodsman's axe. Mm -hmm. I haven't caught a fish yet, so I don't think I can do that yet. I like me using tools that I don't own. I guess I could buy them back. I really don't have problems with chopping the wood down. So the fine woodsman's axe, is that why I'm getting five logs when I chop a tree down instead of three logs? Because I guess maybe that does make a difference. Um... It's not going to despawn if I just put it on the ground here, right? Wood sack is faster. Okay, I'll just use the carving axe, I guess. It'll let me. Oh, it's based on time. It's a deal. Certainly been plenty of towns with woodsman's axes earlier that I could possibly go back to. Okay. Take a quick nap here. Thank you. I gotta remember that R key. Let me put that, I'm gonna make that the number one thing. Press the R key to repeat last action. Okay. Bit thirsty. Utility articles, so we wanna do, you said cups and shovels are both pretty decent. Cups are the ones that weigh nothing, right? Or that's block of wood. Okay, so right, I need to cut down different kinds of trees to do utility crafting. So instead we want to do lumber for these. Satisfactory and its masterwork quality helps. Oh, I see. Alt-M without going into the skills menu. Thank you. That's extremely helpful. Let me add that. Alt plus skill letter jump to it. Okay. Um, right. Weapons for eight. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Don't do this. We learned our lesson with this. Don't just make all of them at once or you're going to have a bad time. When I sell them stuff, does the stuff I sell them get destroyed, technically? Hey, where's your water? 25 yards in the northeast. Okay. Wow, no wonder that smoke trout was so expensive. I didn't realize it was worth three bites. You can usually determine that by its uh, weight, I suppose. 
they'll be carrying it if I talk to them. But I have to find the specific person I traded to, or do all the townsfolk count as like one NPC for the purposes of this town? Um, okay. Um, weapons for this. Dog enters review. Fine with dogs being in my view. Kind of freak out about that. Stop entering my view, dog. So the whole thing about you could have done better. Um, can I have better? I guess that means the staff would have had to have been better, right? Which I can get by doing a better job with the initial wood. I don't have any staffs. Okay. I see. Okay, thank you. Let's try making some shovels, maybe. Um, okay, so... Make utility articles. Oh, I made it to the end of the soundtrack. All right, Let's back to the beginning. Try a shovel first, I guess. Oh, I have to make the blocks first, right? Alt M, chop into blocks, right? And I can't be on top of it for that one. I guess maybe the game is trying to tell me you need to pet the dog. <laughs> Bit tired. So nearby NPCs won't pick stuff up that I throw on the ground, presumably. So, uh, hunger versus nutrition. Nutrition is what's determining whether my I'm getting like penalties or bonuses to stats. I guess everything's a penalty in this game. And hunger is if I'm going to die of hunger, which is completely separate from nutrition. wooden shovel. Ooh. Let's right, so do cups instead then. A wooden cup. I think I just need more points in carpentry. That's probably why it's rough right now. Decent wooden cup. Fuck yeah. All right, I can repeat this too, can I? You do not quit, no. Ultra quaff shift Q, apparently. Four blocks of wood here, okay. I didn't realize that they always drop branches when you felled them too. I think I've been leaving those on the ground accidentally. Oh, really? Okay. So hunger just exists to kind of keep you from wasting food.
If I burp, does that mean that I, I overate? That I could have let the hunger meter get fuller before doing that? High nutrition, the slower the hunger meter goes down. Oh, okay. I see. It seems like um, the speed with which um, the thirst meter increases kind of seems to be all over the place. Oh, I mean, a mischief maper. Sorry, you mad at me? I'm sorry, I'll get out of your property. It's just a matter of them seeing me, or did that one just happen to be considered part of the town? I hope I didn't lose a bunch of rep for that. Eight decent blocks of wood. Oh, it's based on temperature? I see. Makes sense. I don't need to care too much about the hunger meter you're saying. M, U, 2, go. And then just R space after that. I wish the dog entering your view thing was just a, like, way to force you to pet the dog. It would be funny. longer before eating the trout. Bit tired. Leaky wooden cup? Oh, it's useless. Like the worst possible cup status. What are we doing, by the way, on carpentry? It's working its way up there. Timbercraft is also pretty slowly going up. Oh, did I finish all the... Okay, I think I did. Um... F, yes, go. M. Uh, actually, no, this is Alt M, C, up, yes. Eight decent blocks of wood. Oh, okay, I didn't notice that the decent qualifier could also apply to wood that you chopped down. And that just is based on your... Um, Your Timbercraft score when you chop it down, I assume. Oh, there's this weird lady who comes to town and goes off into the forest, chops down trees, and comes in with like a hundred cups and is like, anybody, anybody want some cups? How do you guys feel about cups? The bulls sold for a decent amount before. 
Oh, Woodsman's Axe is good for making blocks, so I should try to get another Woodsman's Axe for that if possible. I see. Funny this game actually, like, tracks supply and demand. I was like, we have too many fucking cups. Like, get out of this town. See her coming from a distance from the horizon, that scene from Holy Grail where he's just, like, running constantly. God, the, the cup lady is here. Nobody move. But longer meter build for now. Lively. You said maybe the person who sold it to might put it on the ground, meaning making it open for sale, the woodsman's axe that I sold when I first got here. But it's not necessarily gonna be the case. To buy more food at the moment. Carving axe, master word carving axe, which is the one that I have right now. Um, hmm. I need to back up and go to a town that I've already been to to try to find the woodsman's axe. I could probably afford it now. Meanwhile, a dog enters your view. Pretty sure I left one behind back here somewhere. Wish I could like summarize what all is in the town. Shop wise. Spear, staff. It's the town that had like zero axes. I should just see if there's an item in this game that is effectively currency. No axes here. We go northeast from here. Arrowed. Uh, Masterwork Fur Hood. A regular woodsman's axe instead of a fine one, but I'd rather have something than nothing. If I have multiple axes, does the game automatically try to use the best one? What kind of items would you like? How would you how would you feel about me giving you some cups? So leaky, they just won't take it all. All right, I didn't have as much. I guess the axes 
kind of expensive, more so than I was expecting. Um, I won't take that. Trip. Okay, I shouldn't have sold my fine woodsman's axe, I think, is what we're learning here. Whoops. I need to be making way better cups. Oh, sorry. Shit. I accidentally almost stole their shit. Sorry, folks. I don't know if I get in trouble once they've warned me. Can I see my rep with people anywhere, or is it just a hidden value? Chopping. Why are you bothering me at this hour, frequent nuisance? Did I do anything to increase rep with them? I assume that makes my trading worse, because I've now made that mistake twice. Every time you trade with them, it improves rep. Okay. The more metal something has, the more expensive it is. Oh, there's just a random chance for them to have quests. your wooden cup. It's a deal. So every successful trade improves your relations to that end. Only a start. Good start. Needs to be doubled. Two thirds. Pleasantly close. Just a few more things away. Okay. Talk to the villager, they'll tell you if there's any quests in the village. That's a. Uh, which one do I ask for that? Ask for directions? Why are you bothering me at this hour, frequent nuisance? I'm sorry to be a frequent nuisance. I didn't mean it. Great, how's it going? So if anyone in this town has a quest, they'll say something when I select how's it going. Thank you. I'm a bit tired. It's nice. I'm wondering if I can get a trees that are closer to the water source. Probably not. The thing that says you haul items along is like shaming me for 
having too much crap, right? Can I go somewhere to see what my... Uh, ideal carry capacity is? Oh shit, I don't know how that happened. What's the difference between hauling versus just carrying in your inventory? I think I, so I keep pressing M lowercase instead of M uppercase. sleep outside in the rain. Do I have to crawl then? Shit, what can I do here? Wait. That was a normal thing to do there. So I was overexerting myself by trying to chop down three trees in a row without sleeping, but that's just completely that's exertion, which is separate from how tired I am. Okay. Pushing bow with less buttons and it pulls behind you. Okay. That's nice that it remembers your progress from the last time you were there. Fatigue penalty is pretty nasty. Can I try bulls? I don't know. Or shovels. Shovels just seem like they take forever to make. wooden bowl. Yeah, I feel like until I get good at this, I should probably make whatever the thing that's fastest is and then uses up the least space so that it, I average out to get whatever the leaky wooden cup. How dare you? Decent wooden cup. That's more like it. Decent just shows as like normal in your inventory, right? Drink. What are we doing on skills here? Carpentry is up to 26. Timbercraft is still at 49. I think making the, the cups and bowls is carpentry only, and chopping stuff down is timbercraft only, maybe?
rough wooden cup. I think I'm, I've gone infinite in terms of being able to be fed all the time, um, just based on chopping wood and then selling stuff, but I don't know that I can, I think I'm just barely sustaining at the moment. Making lumber like staves, okay. But cups and bowls are carpentry, sure. Yeah, I might after I finish these up, I might switch to javelins for a little bit. Okay. Um So I could I could try to use hauling to haul uh the wood blocks closer to town so I don't have to keep running every time my fatigue gets high. Can I haul the whole stack with me? I assume I'm allowed to do crafting in town. They just want me to like chop their trees down and shit. Local crazed cup woman. Does it only give you a little red message about your tool being used if the tool is bad? I don't notice any message about my, um... Oh shit, oops. Wasn't paying attention to food there. Okay, I should let the meter fill though, because my trout can clear all of it and I've been wasting trout this whole time. It's okay, it's a note I can leave to myself. Um, let's see. One more block of wood. Okay. Decent wooden cup. Three leaky wooden cups. God, shameful. And I may as well just dump anything that that people will turn down to trade. There's like no reason to carry it anymore. Preferably a carving axe. Okay. Let's see if that's enough to afford that wood cutting axe in the previous town. Woodsman's axe, rather. Even the. You no, know, it was the one that was further from here, wasn't it? Oops. Will they fall out of a leaky cup? Does water stay in a cup forever? You can burn them too. Okay. Woodsman's axe. I believe I got that fine woodman's axe. I guess I'd like traded a bow and stuff for it. about a bowl very marginal he says good start he says I see needs to be tripled Needs to be doubled. All right. Well, I can't pull that off, so 
Goodbye, and I'm not going to steal your axe. Sorry about that before. I'm going to try to just build my... Now, does all of the Dreek share a rep score, or does it base on individual villages? I need 60 wooden cups for that. Alright, so the fact that this guy... Oh, I can introduce myself to everyone in town? That's interesting. Air key. The fact that they're not complaining when I talk to them and saying I'm a nuisance means that... Um, maybe from my previous trades that they've moved from hating me to being neutral toward me. weather we've been having. Let's see. Carpentry's up to 26. Timbercraft's at 49. Let's try doing some javelins here. I can actually use those for hunting later. Um, I'm query. She's supplying the whole region with cups. Exactly. I'm enjoying the roleplay of this game. I usually don't, like, get invested in these kinds of um, procedural games and, like, the supposed stories that they generate, right? Because I've described before, so I can, I can like see the matrix and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, this town is just a bunch of random NPCs, and there's no authoring behind it. Um, and like the fact that they sold me an axe just because an axe randomly spawned there, right? It's all just a bunch of variables. But here, it's pretty funny, like <laughs> crazy cup lady, <laughs> really specialized in making shitty artisan cups, yeah. Like that lady who did the uh, the Jesus painting that looked like shit? That's me. That's what, I, what I'm here for. These are kind of annoying because it's kind of hard to do them fast, like with cups where you can just stand on the thing and make a bunch of them back to back. Probably am better off tree chopping a bunch of trees like I did before so I can use the repeat command. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. I guess it's much easier to chop the young trees too. Yeah, honestly, I was. This game was stressing me out until we started <laughs> Crazy Cup Lady, and now I'm having a good time. I was getting this weird feeling that, like, there's no way I could ever possibly survive in this game. Like, oh god, this is really hard. No, all you gotta do is just be a Crazy Cup Lady, it's fine. So it's, I love how her name was a was a prophecy, right? I made it just because my previous character didn't have a high enough uh, timber work skill. But that's literally what she is now. She's terrible, and no one will tell her how terrible she is because they're too polite. Oh yeah, your cups. Sure. We want to buy seven of them. I can often completely enjoy uh, procedural games, but I don't really get the whole make your own story is so much better than an authored story thing most of the time. I am appreciating this one, though. Let's 
Let's see. Weapons for... Fortunately, I have to say how many I want. I guess I can just do one at a time so it always burns through it. Oh yeah, right. Right, okay, we have to make the staves first then. Uh, lumber, staff. I can just do one at a time. It is better to enter the- I guess I can enter the number when I hit repeat. Stabs are pretty heavy, unfortunately, so... I guess I could try to drop a, a chunk of them while I'm crafting, so I'm not taking the 17% penalty for weight. Reducing them into javelins drops their weight by, like, one pound each. <laughs> Something in your pack is smelling foul. Not my roasted elk cuts. I paid good money for those. Sad. Where are we at? Still the same timber and uh, open tree. Oh shit, I, sometimes I get so absorbed in my crafting that I forget to eat. Mood. I assume that would happen, but I was surprised that some of my other stuff wasn't going bad as quickly. Like, the, I've had the trout for way longer than those elk cuts. Is it this one that got me in trouble before? Something I was making before where I tried to make 10 of them and it was very sad. It may have been javelins. It was probably javelins, okay. Try to drop some of these staves. Match up a little bit with the penalty there. Um, Smoke dried and salted all mean it'll last a while. Okay. Roast means it won't, basically. Shit, I didn't mean to haul. Dog enters your view. Okay, so I can drop all stabs and then I can pick up the exact number that I want, I suppose. Oh. 
people in the town are like whispering to each other. It looks like they, the cup lady is taking up javelin making. Are they better than her cups? No. Dried is basically jerky. I wonder what skill making javelins is. I don't know if it's carpentry, or it, it might just be that gaining skill levels is insanely slow, which is fine. Okay, I thought my stabs got taken while I was sleeping. I guess that would make sense. So, um... What can I do about carry capacity? Is that just based on strength or something? All right, thirsty girl. She drinks. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Nothing really to do about it, okay. Finish making all these javelins. Let's see if I can sell some of it to people. Just falling asleep in front of your javelin fireplace. Just passes right out. She's crazy. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Not a full thing, okay. Alright, I got 30 javelins. That's looking pretty good. Cool. Oh, I still have three more staffs to do those real quick. I'm gonna have to sell these because they're pretty heavy. Yeah, exactly. This is the origin story. Inception. Oh my god, it's 4.58. Uh, I was completely lost track of time there. Uh, wow. Okay, cool. Um, Timbercraft 49, Carpentry 26. I didn't get any stats for making those javelins. Maybe I got stats in something else? I'm trying to think what it would be. I don't know. Uh, it's fine, though, because now we have a bunch of stuff. Future Mars said, look at the Unreal World text file. There's a lot of keyboard shortcuts and stuff in there. What's important for you is how you're playing the game right now, which is you are a crazy cup lady. You're a lady who visits a town and then goes to the edge of town, and you have to go to the edge of town. Don't chop anything where they can see it. You chop down trees. You wear high heels. Uh, you craft those trees into stabs if they're tall trees. Uh, or into blocks if they're tiny trees. All the way around. No. If they're very tall trees, you chop them into blocks and then you turn those blocks into like cups and shit um, with the make menu. And if they're short trees, you chop them down and then you turn those into stabs and then you turn the stabs into javelins at a fire over here. And then you go and look around the town and there are a bunch of other towns near here. You can find them via road outside. When you start getting low on food, you trade your food, or you trade your javelins and your cups and bowls for food. You eat the food and you continue, and the objective is to get your stats and gear up so that you can do this much better and make more money. Um, you have a minor objective of getting your woodsman's axe back. 
you might want to hold out until you can find a fine woodsman's axe or a masterwork woodsman's axe although you're going to need a lot of value to be able to trade for that because you can't even afford the regular woodsman's axe right now there is a woodsman's axe if you go left and southwest there's two towns away from you you'll find one um maybe next episode you can trade in some of these javelins uh your cups you got a bunch of cups you're gonna need to trade a bunch of these anyway just to get your carry weight down um maybe try to do if you hit f5 you can see the tasks you've made it as far as the kill before but didn't have any of the gear or anything to do it but now you kind of do you have enough stats and spear yeah 70 percent in spear that you should be able to use those javelins so maybe save a handful of the javelins after selling the rest of them for food Go explore, see if you can find a town that has a better uh, woodcutting axe in it so you can chop down the trees and add a higher quality. Um, and other than that, like I said, read the text file. There might be a max XP you can earn per day. I see. That would make sense. This game is cool. Uh, thanks, Game Saucer, for getting in on the sheet. Kiri and everybody else who's voted for it. I enjoy it. I'm excited to play more. <laughs>